Yes, myself, uh, Dr. Muralidhar Vadigar, presently working as a professor in the HOD department of Shairachana, that's anatomy. In the MRN Ayurvedic Medical College Hospital and Research Center, Bagalkote, this video contains uh, human body parts and organs so that this video is recommended to only for the medical students for medical education. Uh, let's begin. So, next we are going to remove the skin or separating the skin from the underlying structures. So, slowly we are going to dissect like this. Already it is dissected. See, we are going to reflect the first clap like this and second clap like this. And in this side also we have reflected the first clap like this and next we have reflected like this. So, after removal of the skin, after removal of the skin, next we are getting the structure yellow color sheet. So, this yellow color sheet itself is called by the name of superficial fascia. So, below the superficial fascia, if you reflect at the superficial fascia, carefully observe there is a one more layer, the white layer. So, that is called by the name of deep fascia. It is a white thin sheet. Already I explained. So, the yellow color sheet, it is a superficial fascia and the deep fascia is white in color, it is a thin layer. And after cutting this uh, white fascia or deep fascia, next you are getting the chocolate color structure that is called by the name of muscle. So, you can see this is yellow color is the superficial fascia and this is the white color is the deep fascia and so if I reflected the some area, see concentrate here the chocolate color layer the last uh, sorry next layer that is the muscle so third the third layer is the muscle and between the skin and superficial fascia or between the superficial fascia and the deep fascia the neurovascular bundle are going to extend so after reflecting this next we are going to discuss about the cutaneous nerve supply to this pectoral region so one thing you should remember first you identify this one there is a sternal angle draw the transverse line so above this trans, uh, tra transverse line the area which is supplied by the supraclavicular nerves it is the only cutaneous supply below this line the area is supplied by the thoracic nerves so supraclavicular nerves are derived from the c3 and c4 branches and thoracic branch uh, sorry uh, the remaining things are derived from the T2, T3, T4, T5, T6. The nerves they are going to supply uh, supplying this area for the cutaneous supply. And after this dissection, our students tried to search the supraclavicular nerves. In this dissection, we have tried to uh, identify the supraclavicular nerves. Supraclavicular nerves are in three set. One group is extending on lateral side, that is called lateral supraclavicular nerves. Another set is extending medially, they are called by the name of medial supraclavicular nerves. And another set is extending intermediately, they are called by the name of medial, sorry, intermediate supraclavicular nerves. So, I am going to trace slowly, then try to identify. See, the first group is very minute. See, these are the nerves. Yes. Yes. See, these are the lateral supraclavicular nerves. And one nerve we have identified very clearly. It is arising from the clavicle. See, supraclavicular nerve. So, you can appreciate the nerves here. There is a intermediate supraclavicular nerve. And next one is, next one is here, medial supraclavicular nerves. See, these are the medial supraclavicular nerves nerves so we have differentiate and identified and they are supplying up to the gypoid process sorry not gypoid process there is a sternal angle so these supraclavicular nerves medial group of supraclavicular nerves intermediate supraclavicular nerves and lateral group of supraclavicular nerves